when one is ill, I think our biggest concern becomes for those around us. Um, but there's a hidden moment in this movie where you watch your child and you realize you may not see her grow up. And I was wondering how you got that emotion because it just, it just touched me. I think that it's, it just touches me too. I, that's, an, that's a heartbreaking thought. So it's not difficult for me to have empathy for that. When you do something like this, though, um, do you have to go inside to personal memories or is it just pure acting? Uh, I've got a technique I use. For what? For for, where, when you're dealing with, you know, this kind of character. Right. I think, um, no, I, I think this film, the circumstances are extraordinarily heartbreaking and it moves you so i was i was moved in the moment as as well it's not um i'm not like thinking about puppies dying or something it's mm -hmm. i i it it's hard to to grapple with this the other thing that really just struck me was when they asked her for her bucket list, she just had like three or four things right off the bat. Um, is that something that you have a list of, of things that you want to do? I know I jumped out of a plane. Um, what are the kinds of things you like to do or want to do one day? Um, oh gosh. There, I mean, there's a lot of things that I want to do. A lot of them include, involve just working, making things and making movies. I, I don't really know. I can't think of, you know, a specific. Yeah, that's what impressed me so much about your character, that she was able to just come up with something. Um, with that, when you know that there's an end, I mean, we all know that there's an end point to our lives, but when it's so in your face, you think what's the most important, which honestly is what we should all be, how we should all be all the time is like, how am I gonna love everybody the best? And how will I fulfill my life and my dreams with the time that I have? But I feel like I have a very lucky life and I'm, my dreams are happening every day. So I'm, I'm like, anything else that comes is a blessing. Your friend tells a bit of a, a fib in order to get you one of your bucket list items. And I was wondering if there's ever been an occasion where you've had to exaggerate the truth or um, how comfortable you are with that in just trying to reach your aims. I, I, if, as long as it's not hurting anybody, bending the truth can be okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it certainly worked in this time. Thank you so much. Thank you.